A Hamilton man says, like many families who have a child living with autism, support from the provincial government is essential. But he says uh, after his funding expired last week, communication with the government about next steps has been almost non-existent. Eric Viano joins us live in studio with more on this story. Eric. That's right. Ryan Davies says at this point he feels like the government has failed his son Vincent because he no longer has government funding to pay for services that are key to his support and development. Um, we're still waiting for the funding, but we're also waiting to get to Navarro's son. Who's his favorite superhero? I don't know. What's his favorite color? We think it's blue, but we don't know. What does he want to be when he grows up? Don't know. Six-year-old Vincent was diagnosed with autism back in 2019. He is level two on the spectrum and has some trouble communicating. Without government support, Ryan and his wife Tanya say they have been on their own. We became therapist, we became doctor, we became triage, and we became essentially his whole medical system for autism. Ryan says the one-time autism funding that was available to families over the last two years because of the pandemic expired last week and Vincent was put onto a wait list. Since then, Ryan says he's been reaching out to the government for answers and hasn't gotten any. I, so I started asking, where am I on the, um, or where is Vincent on this wait list? We don't know. Okay, how much funding can we expect? Well, we don't know. How long does it take us to get this funding based on where he is? Well, we don't know. I said, what do you know? Without funding, the Davies say they'll have to spend thousands of dollars a year out of pocket for core services for their son while they wait. And they've essentially told us anything between when your one-time funding stops and the new funding comes in, you're responsible for paying that and you cannot be reimbursed. Do we mortgage the house? Do we, you know, go even further into debt than we already are? I, you know, these are the decisions that that families are facing. Monique Taylor, MPP for Hamilton Mountain and social service critic, says the wait list for children to receive funding for core services in the province is over 60,000. Making sure that we're capturing these children, uh, that we're giving them the services they need while they're young is is vital to, to their growth. It's, it's terrible that uh, the government is not finding this a priority and, and leaving so many kids just languishing on wait lists. We asked the Minister of Children, Community and Social Services, Marilee Fullerton, several of the Davies que family's questions, but she had no answers for them. Instead, in a statement, the ministry offered no immediate help, but noted there are other supports available. Now, the Ontario government will deliver its 2023 budget next week, and MPP Taylor says she hopes it will include money to deliver to the thousands of families, including the Davies.